Hey everybody, I wanted to give you a walkthrough of the show. Uh, Regina Martin is one of our featured artists this month and she did a show that is called It Is Still Life. And as you might see here, it's based a bit on uh, both what we all went through this past year, right down to the toilet paper shortage. Um, and of course she's been very inspired by Wayne Tebow, which you can particularly see in uh, this piece with all the color layering. This one's called Tebow's TP. It is uh, 12 by 36. We've got one called Black Box and you just have to see, it's kind of neat. Almost Chiante. Shard Denial. <laughs> it's kind of fun. And uh, Savignon Blah. Anyway, uh, you will want to come down and check these out in person. That one is um, called Boxed In, and it is uh, 20 by 24. Uh, this one's called Dream Machine. You know, all those restless nights, we were like, what's going on next? Can't sleep, a little bit of anxiety, a little wine to take care of it. That one is 16 by 16, and we have What Leo Doesn't Know. This beautiful still life is 24 by 36. Here's one called The Traveler's Dream, because it was just a dream last year, right? Nobody got to travel or do anything. It's just kind of got a calendar in behind it. Um, the passport just laying there. And uh, birthdays, birthdays kind of came and went last year, right? Uh, it was like a, another roll of the dice, it's called. This one is 36 by 12. And we have Survival Kit 2020. That kind of sums it up, but what I love is the little bottles of vodka <laughs> that went with all the first aid. Um, porcelain pucker. I don't think we ever wore lipstick last year. In fact, I'm still not wearing lipstick, but um, this one is 12 by 12. So you'll want to come down and check these out um, and take a look in person. Um, our other featured artist is actually Stuart Dunkel. Stuart Dunkel is known for his teeny tiny mice paintings. It's a bit of realism uh, combined with whimsy. Uh, this one's called Great Push, it's five by seven. I love this guy with the sprinkles. It's called Disguise, also five by seven. We have one called uh, Sweet Success, it's five by five. And I love the pretzel guy. He's pretty cute. He is five by seven. One called uh, King on His Throne. And the tomatoes. I actually sent Stuart Dunkel is from Massachusetts and uh, that one's five by seven and um, we sold that one which I love. Um, I sent him pictures from our own uh, central market so of course there's a long uh, horseradish. It's called acquired taste <laughs> and then he has one called set free. This one's really beautiful. It's 12 by 16. Look at how he painted that. So Stuart Dunkel comes from Massachusetts and um, he was an oboist in the Boston Symphony for many years. Look at this guy with the pickle, it's called Strong Guy. He's six by eight. Anyway, so Stuart um, was an oboist in the Boston Symphony for most of his life in uh, various symphonies and then uh, started painting at, and kind of uh, decided that the mice were it, so to speak. That one sold, it's called Cookie Time. There's one big one here, it's an aquarium. Look at the dog looking in over the water line and the fish are floating around and then there's a little mouse floating on the water. It's kind of fun. That one's called a Great Drama in the Aquarium and it is 24 by 48. These two I just think would be great in a bar somewhere. It's called Lemon Reveal. And then uh, I love this one, it's called Orange is the New Black. Together, uh, they're each five by five. And then for those golfers, it, this one's called On Course. I thought that was really cute, seven by five. We of course have a Hershey Kiss that's sold instantly in all the rainbow colors. Could have sold it five times. And then there's a little one called Takeout with the sushi, 
It's five by seven, and then a rat, uh, the radishes, it's from Central Market, this one is. It's six by 12. This one sold right away too with the bag of treats. And then the last little one to show you is called Figuring It Out. So if you guys uh, wanna come down and see these, they're gonna be up through the month of October, and we hope that you'll take some time to come down. The gallery's open Tuesdays through Saturdays from 10 to 5 p.m. See you soon.